And now for my 87th subscriber special, one of my irregular series here in uh, model kit reviews of HO building kits. I was going to do an upload of New England Village Country Store slideshow, but one of the stores asked me to wait till spring when they reopened. Today they're taking the winter off. So watch for that in the spring, you subscribers, you. And in the meantime, I just discovered this country this company, Foscale Models. They're now in Jewett City, Connecticut. And they do these highest quality laser cut balsa kits, not unlike Bar Mills, if you like the Bar Mills uh, material. And so I thought I would show you a almost built kit and a unbuilt kit as review. So when you get a kit from, um, from, Foscale, among the things that come with the kit is this card, and you see the, uh, this is just left over from Gordon Novelty Company kit, uh, everything, the balsa is color-coded, and so what I did is, uh, uh, well, also, I'll show you, uh, we'll get to the, my kit here and my mistakes, but it also comes with, of course, you know, plans and wonderful art to cut out and put on your model and the instructions, which I did not pay enough attention to, as you will soon find out. And then there is pewter, uh, pewter accessories that I haven't painted yet, chimneys and stuff, and uh, um, um, the the street light and some barrels and there the roofing material in the Foscale kits are is uh, this paper I used the, the bar mills paper this kind of bar mills paper that that comes with the and and you'll see why this is kind of similar to the bar mills kits as I show off haha <laughs> um as far so um it's of course balsa reinforced uh, balsa with styrene windows and doors first time i painted with a sponge um and i uh as i say it's new to me i stained the wood first according to the directions i did read that far you see that's why it looks like the the paint is peeling off because first it was stained in the ink and um, rubbing alcohol. Then I used this cheapo sponge from the dollar store, and then I used this folk art paint from Walmart. I dulled down cardinal red with baby powder, and then of course we used vintage white. And then, um, and then of course these shades here, this, the second floor shades, are really just strips of tissue paper that I soaked in coffee, which gives it that brown aged kind of look, little tip there. And so anyway, so I built the dormer upside down, had to redo that, becoming a tradition with me, not reading the instructions, building things upside down, leave it to me. The flashing, again, new to me, was uh, paper, paper strips with uh, colored silver by a metallic sharpie and then the front on the front well i installed that wrong and then in having done that it messed up the front and made for complications in getting the front to look just right but it was still a fun kit and i highly recommend foscale models so that's what the built kit looks like now moving along here um for a sec why don't we take a look then at ideal hosiery and you see that's what the uh, the box art, shall we say, doesn't come in a box as you'll see, but that's what it looks like. This is take two. See, I had I did this once and I messed it up. So here we go. That's why this doesn't quite look as it would coming. This is how they come, either in the plastic bag or or novelty came in this harder kind of plastic. And so you know, styrene windows and doors and of course you see the the color-coded pieces of laser the picture and the all-important instructions and as you can see it's not a, not so different from 
bar mills in that it's, you know, finely laser cut. This is clapboard style. One of the things I like about his kits is, the Foscale Models kits, is the, uh, the variety of sidings, the clapboard and the sheet metal and the bare metal and the bare wood. And you see it over here a bit on the Gordon Novelty thing. So I, w I wanted to give a, a very uh, positive recommendation of the Foscale Models. And uh, for you HO modelers who are looking to work with wood. And so you can find them online at Foscale Models. Dot com. So and thank you for watching. Keep watching. I'll try to upload stuff more often here these days. And, uh, okay, uh, reach for the right button here.